safely say that most of the people asking you questions today have no earthly idea what it's like to defend somebody uh, like Zach Eady, somebody who's 7'4". Can you take me into the uh, – give me a window of what it's like possession by possession, uh, the physical toll it takes on you to defend him, and, and also what toll you take on him with the diversity of your own skill set. Uh, kind of take me through that that battle uh, as it goes through the game. Yeah, um, Zach, he's a great player. And um, obviously he's huge. It's really hard to defend, especially if he catches it super long on the block. So I think the biggest thing for me is um, trying to push him out. Um, I felt like when we pushed him out, and um, we got our double team there. Um, that's when we had success against him. So um, just trying to push him out and not letting him catch it too deep to where he's able to make a quick move is probably your best bet because if he, if he catches it down there, it's whether or not he makes or misses it, it's, there's really not much else that you can do, so. Tom Brown. Trace, uh, last weekend you told Jeff Goodman that uh, four years is enough and this is it. Uh, but then the first thing I saw on Twitter was from your little brother who said uh, one more year. Uh, so, hey, uh, how 100% are you on this? And uh, uh, and if so, uh, uh, what is the decision and uh, is it changeable or not? Uh, Taven, yeah, he's just he's just being a little troll, um, just trying to be funny on Twitter. Um, he kind of knows he kind of knows that I'm I'm leaving, but um, I'm glad that he's here, and um, I'll definitely be back to watch him play. But um, yeah, I'm still probably 100. Well, I am 100 percent committed on that, and um. As I said before, like I'll say the rest on senior night, but um, just got to take these last few games and take it all in. So I'm um, still trying to play for something. So, Trace, you talked about Miller and how you wanted to see him kind of be more aggressive and shoot the ball every time he touches it. I was wondering if you think Trey has kind of entered that territory with his three point numbers this season. Do you think he needs to be more aggressive from three and have opposing defenses kind of get some more respect? Um, absolutely. Um, I think all of our guys, um, whenever they're open, should just let it fly. Um, Trey's shooting roughly 50% from three. Um, and if he's open, he, he's bearing them. And so when you got a guy like that, he's got to get shots. And then same with Miller. I felt like Miller was actually, um, even some shots, hand was kind of coming up and he just let it go. And um, he was hitting them. And that's what we need from them, just to be able to space the floor. So um, I'm never someone that's going to say, don't shoot the ball. I want want my teammates to always, if they feel like they're open, to let it fly because um, we just need that. We need every guy just playing at a high level. And so, um, yeah, that's that. Tyler. Hey, Trace. I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, I guess what what do you feel like has allowed you to take such a, a big step in play from last season? Was it some work you did over the summer, or just the mentality you play with? I guess what, what has just allowed you to play at such a high level this season? Um. I really just think that it was um, mostly just obviously knowing it's my last year, but um, I felt like I've always had the tools to do a lot of the things I did or I've done this year. Um, but Coach Woodson's just allowed me to be able to do that. And um, like blocking shots, I've, I've always had the ability to block shots. It's just that with Coach Miller, and that's not a knock on Coach Miller, but he always wanted me um, boxing out and, uh, with the help side guy. And so doing stuff of that nature, taking the ball up the floor. And open gyms throughout my four years, I've, I've handled the ball, taking it up the floor. It's just in the game situations. In my first two years, they wanted me to rim run, pass to the guard rim run, which uh, it's just the offense that they, they played. And I felt like when Coach Woodson came in, he, he really unlocked a lot of a, a lot parts of my game that um, were always there, but just didn't necessarily get recognized because I was trying to do a different role. So, yeah. Hey, Trace, you've gone up against Zach Eady now in some capacity for three seasons. Just when you think about who he was as a freshman until now, just what's different about his game? How, how has he improved uh, from, in, in, during that time? Um, well, obviously, his first two years, he was splitting minutes with Travion, who's also a great player. And um, when you have two guys like that, um, it's, it's tough. It's a tough cover. But just him this year. And just him being able to play the whole game at 7-4 is um, it's remarkable. Um, he's really trained himself and conditioned himself to do so. And um, it's hard when he's out there because he's huge. Um, everyone, he's a defensive focal point. But um, just having that motor running like he does and just being able to go over both shoulders at 7-4, it's, it's a really tough cover. And so 
Um, it's props to him because he's done a great job with his body coming into this year. Mike? Yeah, Tracy, you've, you've always had expectations, you know, as a recruit, uh, as a guy who started every game your entire career. But I'm, I'm curious, like, how you've adapted to that. You know, obviously everybody knows the IU fan base is crazy. And, you know, how, how have you grown with that, having kind of that weight of the world on your shoulders to, to be able to thrive the way you have this year? Um, just, I just really just block out the noise. Um, I feel like I've had my first bad game probably 10, 12, 13 games. And I mean, I still had 19, seven and five. So it's like, it's a bad game. Yeah, seven turnovers is never okay. But um, at the same time, I just got to keep playing ball. And that's what I've been doing, especially during our, our little run that we've had for the last two months. I've kind of just block, blocked out everything and just relied on my teammates and just um, know that they're there for me. And so, um, and Coach Woodson, and Coach Woodson always says there's no pressure. Um, you were here to play basketball for a reason, and so you just got to go out and compete. And if you play as hard as you can, um, good things will happen, and that's what we've been doing. So, Brad, Grace, I caught up with Coach Hahn down at Center Grove last week. Kind of a two-parter for you. What do you remember of your earliest interactions with him, and how did he help you navigate your high school career that kind of saw you on a growth trend, much like we've seen in your four years in Bloomington? Yeah, um, Coach Han, um, when I got there as a freshman, um, I remember talking with my dad. We didn't even know if I was going to play. And then um, I ended up starting my freshman year. And um, I think that really helped me a lot just to be able to just get experience and um, just going in kind of like I, I was here. I kind of, my center growth career was kind of the same as it, as it is for my IU career when I came in. Um, I mean, we were okay, but just throughout my four years and um, just being able to build and build and build and just become a leader for our team. Was, it was huge. And um, I credit a lot to Coach Han because he was kind of the same way when I when I got to Center Grove. I was basically back to the basket. And then by my senior year, I was kind of doing the same thing that I do now where I take the ball up the court and do stuff of that nature. And I uh, got a lot of accolades for that. And um, But um, it's a lot of huge credit to Coach because he's He's a great coach. They're doing really well right now, and uh, props to them. They got a great team. So, yeah. Trace, it feels like this year you've been asked to switch a little bit more on those ball screens. Just for you personally, what what's your mindset when you're out there trying to guard the perimeter when you get switched out onto a guard? Um, the biggest thing is you gotta jam into them a little bit. Um, just make sure that they keep their dribble alive, and then. I don't think I did a good job last game, but <clears throat> it was more of the fact that I needed to be up higher. Um, a lot of them were screens, and he, AJ was already going downhill, so I, I should have had a hand on the on my man, so to get him off and kind of make him establish his like stopping, so he's not just going straight downhill. And so that's that's part that I need to look at film and work on. But um, other than that, I think the biggest thing for me is trying to force them force them back into help and if not I feel like there's not a lot of guys that can really finish over me and so um, and my teammates know that coach Woody is kind of when I'm on an island he kind of wants me to just force a baseline and then just stay on my feet obviously if they're pump faking if not and go get it and so I feel like I've done a pretty good job of that this year but um, there's always room for improvement last question Alex Bozich Grace, you were once a younger guy that, you know, had your struggles in road games and some of the guys, you know, some of your teammates, obviously Malik, Tamar, you look at their road and home splits, it's it's obvious, it's pretty, um, you know, stark when you look at the numbers. I'm curious just from your perspective, a player's perspective, what what's the biggest challenge when you go on the road as a young player to be able to, to play at a high level? And is there anything that those guys – you know, going forward, need to, to maybe key in on uh, to, to kind of be able to produce to the same level on the road as they are at home? Um, I don't really think there's anything necessarily that, um, especially for Malik, I feel like Malik, um, sometimes he's just he's a little out of control. And I don't mean that in a bad way. He just, he gets happy, starts fouling a little bit too much because even at the beginning of the year when we played at Xavier, he was playing down the stretch. and. That was probably the most hostile environment that we played in this year, and so, um, and he played really well. And so, I just think for him, he just can't can't get in his own head, and he just needs to go out there and play because when he's not when he's, when he has a clear head and he's just playing, he's a great player. And then with tomorrow, I think it's kind of the same. Um, he just um, sometimes he gets a little sped up, tries to do a little bit too much. But other than that, um, 
if he's open, he's going to hit shots. I know that about Tamar. And, um, yeah, I think that's just the biggest thing, just just playing under control and at your own pace. Don't let the game speed you up or don't let the other team speed you up. Probably the biggest thing. All right, All right. thanks, Trace. We'll see you guys Saturday.